Hello and welcome to Haunted Montreal's Spooky Story Sessions. I'm your host, Holly Rhiannon, and today I'm going to tell you all about Hurley's Irish Pub. With over 450 documented ghost stories, Montreal is easily the most haunted city in Canada, if not all of North America. Haunted Montreal is dedicated to researching these paranormal tales, and our channel brings you new videos in both French and English every second Saturday. Today, we examine the very haunted Hurley's Irish Pub, featuring the ghost of the Burning Lady. But before we get into today's story, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you get notified every time we have a new tale to share. And hey, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much. Welcome back. We're happy to see you again. Now, without further ado, let's get spooky. Hurley's is one of Montreal's most happening Irish pubs. The establishment offers live traditional music every night, 19 beers on tap, a selection of more than 50 single malts, 16 whiskies, and hearty Irish fare. Established in 1993 by Mr. Bill Hurley, the Irish pub's laid-back atmosphere makes it a longtime favorite with locals as well as a destination for tourists and celebrities. Everyone from Steve Nash to Ewan McGregor have enjoyed libations at Hurley's Irish pub. Hurley's sells the most Guinness in North America and always guarantees a perfect pint. However, the pub also has a dark, horrifying history, resulting in an agonizing and mysterious ghost who haunts the second floor. The building housing Hurley's Pub was constructed in 1885 as a tenement back in the day when the area was considered a working-class slum. At the time, a furrier operated a shop on the ground floor, and the upper levels and basement were rundown lodgings that housed destitute families. Many of them were of Scottish and Irish stock. Eventually, a series of bars opened on the site. Before Hurley's, for example, there was another bar called My Apartment. Rod, the manager, has worked at Hurley's Pub since 1993 and has seen it all. One time, an elderly Scottish man of about 80 entered the pub in the basement, sat at the bar, didn't order a drink, and started looking wistfully about with misty eyes. When Rod checked to see if he was okay, the man reported that he had once lived in the very same basement when it was a tenement home with his parents and four siblings. He recalled growing up in filthy and squalid conditions with rats and cockroaches infesting the building, not to mention frequent fires that would require them to evacuate on more than one occasion. Eventually, the family saved enough money to leave the flat and move to Ontario. Rod has seen his fair share of sights as the bar manager over the years, but one of the strangest experiences to be had in the pub is a run-in with the ghost known only as the Burning Lady. She can be found at the top of the stairs, in the ladies' washroom, or at the upstairs bar. During renovations in 1999, contractors discovered many burned and scorched wooden beams on the upper floors, leftover infrastructure from the many fires that had engulfed the building over the years. One of the charred non-structural beams was preserved just above the door opposite the ladies' washroom at the top of the stairs. One evening during these renovations, a woman went to the upstairs washroom at about 3.15 a.m. when the managers wanted to empty the bar. She spotted a mysterious lady wearing old-fashioned clothing sitting alone at the upstairs bar, which was closed for the evening. When she reported this to the manager, he and another employee rushed upstairs from opposite sides of the pub to get the woman out. However, when they arrived at the bar, all they found was one of the stools pushed back as though someone had been sitting on it. On other occasions, the strong smell of perfume wafts through the air, usually when doors are mysteriously opening and closing themselves. Sometimes the soft sound of phantom footsteps is heard going up or down the stairs. Over the years, three women, including two clairvoyants, have all reported the same thing, that they smelled the paranormal perfume and saw the spirit of a woman at the top of the stairs. During a staff meeting one night in January 2009, workers suddenly heard a panicked woman's voice upstairs screaming, Help! Help! The manager and another employee ran up the stairs and did a full search, including every nook and cranny, but again, there was nobody there. The screaming got fainter and seemed to be coming from the ladies' washroom, however, that too turned out to be unoccupied. Thoroughly disturbed, they decided to finish the meeting early to get out of the bar because the disembodied screaming and calls for help would not stop. 
After much discussion, the staff at the pub theorized that the ghost is probably that of a woman who burned alive during one of the many previous fires, and they also speculate that she can be heard screaming on the anniversary of the fire death every year. As such, they have decided not to schedule any more staff meetings on the January date when they first heard the screaming. They prefer to keep the date a secret to avoid attracting too many ghost hunters to the pub on one given night. Indeed, the owner, Bill Hurley, once met a person who recalled hearing a story about a person living on the other side of the street during the late 1950s who had witnessed a deadly fire. According to the eyewitness, a lady was banging on one of the windows while screaming, help, let me out, as the flames engulfed her. He also recalled a Christmas tree brightly burning behind her. With such disturbing tales, Haunted Montreal selected Hurley's as the final destination on our haunted pub crawl. It does seem to be one of the most haunted pubs in Montreal. According to Haunted Pub Crawl host Jason C. McLean, walking into Hurley's with a tour group always feels like a warm, welcoming experience, like entering a friendly local bar. When we get upstairs, though, you can tell that there's another presence in the room besides myself and the guests. This intimate, though not alone, vibe lends itself perfectly to the remainder of our stories and subsequent paranormal discussion. Often, when our ghost storytelling is over, clients have a discussion about their own paranormal experiences as they finish their drinks. Additionally, the story of the Burning Lady has become so popular that it was featured on CBC's Our Montreal segment one year. Held every Sunday in English at 3 p.m. and on the last Sunday of the month at 4 p.m. in French, the pub crawl is a great way to enjoy some spirits with a spirit. As for the Burning Lady, more research is needed to try and identify who she might be. Only one thing is certain, anyone going up the stairs at Hurley's or using the ladies' washroom is advised to be extra careful, especially on January nights. Are you a Montreal resident or perhaps a tourist who has had a strange experience at Hurley's Pub? If so, we'd love to know. We're always interested in hearing your theories about what could be going on. Thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first video, we do hope you'll stick around for the next one. We put out new videos in both French and English every second Saturday. If you'd like to learn more about the organization founded by the talented Donovan King, it's all listed in the description down below, along with links to purchase tickets to our haunted pub crawl and other paranormal storytelling experiences. Remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. We'll have a new video out for you in a couple weeks, but until then, stay spooky.